has been a while since we've sat down and had a chat like this, isn't it? So, grab a cup of tea. Mine today is in a, a mug that I got for my birthday this year. Can't think why people would think that this was appropriate for me to have as a mug. And let's have a little chat, shall we? Hello there, people of the internet, and welcome back to another session in another mile. And first off, before I get into anything I have to say today, how are you? How have you all been? It's been a while. Again, I figured I'd give you all the updates I wanted to share with you just in one simple video here, rather than just kind of come back and go, hey, I'm back now. Wait, no, I'm not. Wait, maybe I am, but maybe I'm not. But maybe I am, but with different glasses. For the record, I'm not. These are the same glasses I've had and the same hat. I guess the easiest way to put it is that, like, I've been trying to get back into making videos on this channel for a long time, as you'll know, given that it was just starting to all come together on here, and then the very first lockdown happened, uh, a lockdown that for some people has not ended since it started at the end of March 2020. And ever since then, there's been kind of stop-start periods where I've tried to upload again, mainly because actually trying to film and actually being in a good mental space to actually create videos and the content that I want to do on this channel has been very fleeting. Those kind of windows have kind of come and gone very quickly, both in terms of being able to physically travel due to lockdown restrictions and things like that, or having the funds to be able to do so. I won't go into too many details, but in my main day job freelance work, pretty much all of that ended up going away in one form or another throughout the last 18 months, which is fun. And also my own mental health has been kind of all over the place, as I'm sure has been the case for a lot of us uh, in lockdown and through the tumultuous 18 months that we've been through, well, probably longer than that now. So it's been brief moments of having the energy and the money and the time and the ability to come together and film stuff. And then very quickly that energy going away or my mental health nose diving again or running out of money to be able to do these filming trips. And then things kind of grind to a halt again. But I have been working really hard in the past, well, I guess throughout September really, to kind of set up more of a structure for, because basically uh, tied to the fact that most of my freelance work, my day job uh, has gone away, I've kind of decided to go full time as a creator for at least the next six months and see how they go. And if, you know, they're doing well, then we keep going. If they're not doing enough to properly become my full time job, career, which has always been my dream. I've always, always, since I was in my early teens, been like, due to conventional work and day jobs, a lot of those being actually quite difficult for me to get my head around due to autism, possible ADHD, actual depression, actual anxiety, well, all sorts. This brain ain't wired for regular day-to-day -day work and day jobs and retail work and things like that. In my head, I've always had, like, hence why I've been working freelance as a writer. I mean, like, if I can do something I enjoy and on my own terms, as a job, then fantastic. And I like making YouTube videos. I've made them in some form for over 10 years now. So if that can be my actual day job, then brilliant. Now I'm in a situation where, hey, I have no distractions. I have no day job to distract from it. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. We're around six weeks away exactly uh, from my 30th birthday, next March, 27th of March next year. So I've got about six months to see how this all goes and uh, we'll review from there. Keep going from there, we'll see how we go. With that in mind, I'd better stop uploading over here again, shouldn't I? <laughs> Which is lucky, because uh, I talked earlier about, you know, not always having the time or the funds or whatever to, to film stuff. But ironically, over the last 18 months or so, I happen to have amassed a bunch of videos that I have ended up filming, uh, and then never ended up putting out. Uh, I filmed a bunch of stuff uh, earlier in the summer, or back in the spring, back in May. You saw a few of those episodes. The South Devon Railway and me and Chris's trip to Barnstable was from that kind of around that time. I also filmed a bunch of stuff. Three separate videos up in Norfolk, uh, which you'll be seeing very soon. There's also some stuff from summer 2020. Do you remember that brief period where uh, the first lockdown eased and we thought things were back to normal back in August 2020? <laughs> but a couple of videos from back then as well that I filmed. I never got a chance to put out. Actually from four back then. Uh, you may end up seeing two three or even all of them. But even so, I've ended up with a bunch of different videos that I never actually got around to putting up. You'll have more of the extra type videos interspersed in as regular vlogs. The Little and the Lost series, I'm really happy with how much you guys have loved that. And they're really interesting little videos. I really enjoyed them. So the more videos like that will be coming, uh, more little like vlog videos just on random assorted topics. Like for example, I did a video about the former Swanley Junction station which, you know, Swanley Station is my home station. Well, through the last 18 months to two years, my home station's been kind of rebuilt, redesigned. There's new 
station building, new, it's rather nice and shiny, it looks alright. So at some point I want to show you around there to compare it and contrast it to the station that was there before, that is the one I've known uh, for about the past 20 odd years. I've lived there quite a while now. There's a lot of stuff on the way either way, because the thing I've always struggled with in lockdown is not ever being able to get into a consistent cycle of filming main episodes and never quite having enough uh, side content or side videos and things like that. Not that I even want to class them as side videos, they're all important videos to me. I, I don't want to just throw stuff out there to for filler, you know what I mean? I want to do the actual best stuff I can, especially with so many of you supporting the channel, not just in terms of viewing the videos, or whatever, and sharing them around and commenting, but actually supporting financially on Patreon and on YouTube memberships. And on the point of Patreon, my Patreon is now back to just being about this channel. So if you are subscribed to the Patreon, specifically support this channel, there you go, you're good. If it's more for yeah, everything I kind of do, then I've, I've kind of segregated it a bit more. If you want to support my Twitch stuff specifically, you can do that over on Twitch. You don't have to through Patreon. So I'm going to make the Patreon and YouTube memberships tiers both the same price. So I have both just because it's more convenient for some people to be a YouTube member or a Patreon. Uh, both give the same benefits, which is not a huge amount because I don't like gating off content behind paywalls. I never like doing that. It's more like a sort of tip jar of like, if you particularly like what I do, you can throw a little bit of money my way and you're not obligated to do so. I appreciate every, any and every bit of support you will give me, which is a lot, quite frankly. So as for ASM plays, they'll be coming back. Uh, I am actually part of the Dovetail Games Ambassador program, which is very cool. Uh, Dovetail Games have always been very supportive of little old me, even when I've not been in much of a position to support them back, if you will, as a creator. But I am part of their ambassador program, uh, which is very cool, which means Train Simulator, Train Sim World stuff. It's right here. I'm very lucky that I get to play that and um, share it with you all. And that's what I plan to do going forward. Hopefully, what that all means for you is no more lengthy six-month hiatuses. Hopefully, I'm back. And whatever I said before, I probably did mean it, but I just want to be back for good. I want you back. I want you back. See, I want you back for good. I'm just going to stop talking now. <laughs> Until next time, which will be probably Saturday at 6pm UK time. So my uploads going forward will be Wednesdays and Saturdays, both at 6pm UK time. Plus watch out very occasionally on Tuesday mornings at 10am UK time for the odd shorts video. And the next time I see you after you watch this, hopefully, will be Saturday, 6pm UK time for the return of ASM Plays. And then next week... We'll start getting through that backlog of episodes I've been filming. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys soon along the way.